Hey everybody, I'm the Crimson Cypher. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we could like traverse through Mount Mortar after getting a Master Ball from Professor Elm. In this episode, we are going through the rest of Mount Mortar. Although my Repel keeps going off, so we've had to use ten Repels in this place. So actually, no, eleven technically, if you think about it. Uh, okay, this is the place I wanted to go. Now. Uh, is this an item here? There is, it's Max Revive. Do not forget that. Now, whatever you do, do not go down those steps just yet. Uh, not these ones, I mean, uh, the ones over there. Um, if you go down these ones, however, there's no hidden item around here, but there is a guy. Now, this guy's pretty important. I want to swap out the Kronos for this. Hey, I am the Cry King. I train alone here in the cave. You follow me. We have ourselves a small little optional boss fight. This is Kyo. He will always have a Hitmonlee and a Hitmon Chan. I count this as a boss fight because of the fact that A, he's so out of the way. He has unique, you know. I mean, every character has their own unique dialogue, but everyone considers him a sort of optional boss. Because of how, the fact that he's just in man water and he's like out of the way. He's one of the few traders who actually lives like or has even resided in here. And he also has a very strong team. Hitmon Lee, I believe, has high jump kick, reversal. I want to say mega kick. I can't remember this other move. I could be wrong about that. I don't want to go for like that move sets all the time, you know what I mean? Like it's it's just too much. But with Kronos, we are able to take down his team with ease. Monchan. Okay. Go for Pluck. And we beat him. He's also considered a boss because... I am crushed. My training is still not enough, but a loss is a loss, I admit it. As proof that you defeated me, I'll give you a rare fighting type Pokemon. We received Tyrogue. I'd like to go over Tyrogue. Uh, we're not going to give him a nickname, no. Keep up the hard work. Let's go over Tyrogue, shall we? Tyrogue, on its own, is a... Kind of laughable Pokemon, but even though it has 33 sta uh, in its stats all across, it evolves into one of three Pokemon. Hitmon Lee, who is good with attack, Hitmon uh, Chan, who is good with defense, and Hitmon Top, who is a balance of both. Personally, I'd go for Hitmon Lee out of all of them. Hitmon Top is kind of my least favorite, and Hitmon Chan's kind of the middle ground, in my opinion. However, with Tyro's abilities, along with the other Hitmon uh, Pokemon, its abilities just change outright altogether, de like depending on what Pokemon you choose. So, this is the first time in my like in well, one of the few times you get a Pokemon that has completely different abilities depending on their evolutionary you know uh, standpoint. I guess that makes sense. What I mean is that it's the only Pokemon that doesn't share the same abilities with its other evolutions. Tyrogue in itself is a good Pokemon if you can get it to the Pokemon you want it to be. It'll always be level, uh, it'll always evolve at level 20, or at least start to evolve at level 20. But you need to make sure that its stats are put in a way where it's more in favor of the Pokemon you want it to be in. So if you want to hit him on Lee, you need to have more attack. If you want to have him on top, you need to have equal defense and attack. And if you want more, uh, if you want him on Chan, you need to have more defense. Keep this in mind. Make sure to use like uh, the proteins and irons and stuff, you know, because that'll that'll factor in very well. And you want to battle Pokemon that are, you know, that represent the, uh, I guess, stat you want to have more on Cairo. So Tyrogue here, it will always be level 10 when you obtain it. 
uh, impish nature, somewhat stubborn. Uh, ooh, it has more defense than offense. Okay, it has guts for its ability. Okay. Fair enough. I'm not going to use this thing uh, at all. Uh, at, least, at least from what I know, I'm not going to use it. So There's no reason for me to use it, but, you know. Uh, let's go grab that item that we missed out on, because we didn't go over that one. I guess that makes actually no, was there an item? Down? Yes, there was. But over here, obviously, we're not able to go back that way. That's fine. A nugget. And we're not able to do anything out of action, are we? You know? No, we're not. Okay. Wow, I missed this part completely. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is I am going to. Uh, Escape routes. There we go. I'm gonna use an escape rope to get out of my mortar. And uh, let's go grab the others real quick. Good question where is route 34? 6, 35, 34. It's a golden rod. Awesome. I'm gonna put away, uh, I'm gonna grab the, uh, my other Pokemon real quick, I'll be right back. Alright, now that I've got my other Pokemon, let's go and see what, uh, the, what was his name, uh, the, that guy wanted to say that guy. The person who battled us, is that? Oh, okay, I didn't battle this guy, apparently. Weird. Odd. Cider. Okay, I didn't battle you for some reason. I don't know why. Bit weird. I guess I missed out on uh, this guy. Odd, okay. Weird. Oh, I completely missed out on a third one. What? Okay. Um, I didn't think I'd... Okay. Yeah, there is. So, we're back here with this guy who pulled us into a uh, battle, Ian. It's got Mankey. It didn't... I don't evolve yet. It's one level away from evolving, though, so... Okay. Take out dig. I believe we also had a sand trip, if I'm not mistaken. Or sand well now it'll be a sand slash. So no, it's Dug Trio. My mistake. Oh three, three, Jesus! That's a bit of a difference, don't you think? Earth power. Okay, that's a cool animation. I barely used move Earth Power, but I, you know, I always, always think it's a good, you know, a good looking move if that makes sense. Or at least in the two D games, the three D games weren't as good in my opinion, uh, in terms of you know Pokemon that like move, you know, effect or how it looks in the games. You know, the two D uh, era of Pokemon, especially DS era, was just its golden era in my opinion. But I don't know. You don't have a berry. We got a citrus berry. Awesome. Uh, actually, what I want to do... I actually want to do something real quick. I'm going to... Violet City. I'm going to basically use the rest of this time to kind of do just random things around the area. Now, with the shards that we have, we can get the shards, and we can give, uh, you know, get berries from them. We've got cherry berries, that'll heal paralysis, if I'm not mistaken. We've got petra berry, which will heal poison. And a leper berry, which I believe is for PP usage. More shards. 
and I'll skip ahead when we've done uh, pretty much, you know, all of this. So I'm back. Uh, I just have to, you know, mention that one of the sets that we've just given, I believe that's a yellow shot that we gave, uh, will give you the the Aspia Berry, the Citrus Berry, and the Ayapapa Berry. So let's give a green shard. Set D. We've got a Ross Berry, which will heal Burns. A Lum Berry, which will heal any status condition. And an Agwav Berry, which I believe it's free or froth or freeze. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. So if we go to the, our berries, now we have a, quite a few. Oh, Agwav is... What's Agwav? It's always used to HP. Oh, yes, okay, it does restore HP. Lumberry is any stats problem. That is perfect. Now, what I also want to do... Actually, can I... Do I have Rock Smash? Or do I have anything with Rock Smash? I'll be right back. I'm back. I decided to get Paris out of the box because we need Rock Smash and Paris is the only one who we have that has Rock Smash. So... Oh, a green shard. Okay, we can get more berries with that. That's fine. Okay, what I want to do, I'm actually going to not, you know, have Paris up front. Thank you very much. What I want to do is I want to go and try and get as many heart scales as I can with the rocks in the, um, what you might call it, the uh, Ruins of Alf. Because there's quite a few, and obviously, we... Heart scales will be important for, like, relearning moves that may or, we may, may or may not have missed out on. So, if we go not that way, but if we go around this way, and we use a Rock Smash here. Yes. We do not get a po Well, we do not get an item, but we get a Pokemon. Which is cool. Uh, this rock here. The thing. There's, I think, a few more that we can get into, or that we can break. Hopefully, we can find something. No, not on these two. Perhaps these ones can give us something. Please, if I if you don't, I can just I'll just go off screen and collect stuff that we need. Nothing. Okay, I'm gonna be right back when we you know when I've collected a few uh, art scales. So I'll be right back. Uh, so I'm here in Sianwood City. I thought it was uh, the ruins of Alpha that had uh, art scales in it. Apparently, I am wrong. It was actually this place that had the heart scales. Uh, three of these, because there's five rocks around this little house. Three of them have already been Pokemon. I have got some heart scales from here, only two of them, I'm pretty sure. I also got a few other items as well whilst I was in a uh, the Ruins of Valve, because I spend so much time looking there. So I've got two hard scales, I've got a star piece from here. Blue shards, some red shards, yellow shards, and green shards. i got a helix fossil and two old ambers. That's what I've gotten so far. So, I do... Obviously, I'm going to, you know... Oh, gosh, come on. I even know what the percentage, or like the chance of like having an item hidden on a, like a rock. Like a match ball. Four! Four of these Pokemon have been... Uh, four of these rocks have been Pokemon. And they're Krabbies. So, if you didn't want the Shuffle, I, I'm gonna mention this now, if you don't want the Shuffle from uh, the, well, the gift of Shuffle you got in Sianwood City, you can find uh, Wild Shuffles here. I believe it's a 10 or 5% chance of you finding one. But if you do find one, you can, you know, go for that. Uh, another Pokemon. Why? Why? 
There you go, Shuckle. <laughs> Speaking of which, and they're level 24, so they're not that bad. But. Uh, let's find some more hard skills, please. I want to look and like see. I just want some, you know. Don't do this to me, game. Another shuffle, great. I'll take six. Not bad. My computer cheese. Oh. I am. Red shard, okay. That's fine. That's fine. We can buy a bunch of berries with that. We can get berries with that. I mean, you are technically buying them, essentially. Oh, a revive. Oh, we do get revives and uh, max ethers, and I believe we did not want to go into my uh, one. I wanted to go into my healing items. We got I know I got some, I got a max revive from that, or two max revives. I got max ethers from that as well. Uh, I got a bunch of revives. Uh, I believe that was it, though, from the rocks. But yeah, these rocks are not being too kind with the items. No, they're giving me more Pokemon than anything. Okay. Uh, I will meet you guys back when I find more Heart Scales. I just wanted to give a little update on the Heart Scale grind, because why not? I'm back here in Blackbone City because I couldn't be bothered to find more of the Heart Scales I needed. If we go into the same building that had not not here, that's the same building that had the um, the person who taught us blast burn to microwave, which I believe it's this room. Yes, it is. Uh, no one talked to you. So this guy here, remember when he said we need a heart scale? For, us, for him to teach us moves that we've already learned in the past, or moves that we haven't, you know, been able to use because, obviously, some Pokemon learn moves. Some evolved Pokemon learn moves uh, as they evolve, however, more more of the moves that they that the evolutions learn are kind of locked behind uh, heart scales. I want to see what moves that we are able to get. For example, here, Crobat can learn Cross Poison, which we weren't able to get. Apologies for that. So, for the cut there. Um, as I was saying, uh, Crobat can learn Cross Poison through the Heart Scales. Um, he's also able to learn all the moves he learned through Level Up, so that would be Leech Life, Supersonic, Astonish, Bite, Wing Attack, Confuse Ray, Echo, and that's about it. Uh, obviously, we're not going to learn anything just yet. We're going to see what we can learn through our heart scales. Let's try uh, Cosmos, see what uh, Cosmos can learn. Live Water Gun, Rapid Spin, Recover, Swift, Confuse Ray, and that's about it. Eh, not much I really want there. Microwave has a few moves that are quite interesting. One of them is Gyro Ball. Gyro Ball works weirdly. It depends on the speed stat. If your Pokemon is slower than your opponent's Pokemon, then it'll do more damage. So this move isn't good on Microwave at all. And the rest are stuff he's already learned. As you can see, yeah, Microwave's uh, moveset was quite bad in terms of level up moveset. This is also only level up, up moveset. Um, not any other type of moveset will work here, so just keep that in mind. Uh, let's try out Achilles. I'm pretty sure Achilles might have something. Night Slash? Oh, that's cool. No, I do not want to learn Night Slash. No. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, Night Slash was the only move that Achilles could learn. Unless he has a move that we don't know of, that we haven't learned yet. 
I feel like, yeah, no, everything's there. Uh, everything is the stuff he's already said. Well, he already learns through level up. Then Pharos, I believe. I don't know if he has anything. He has fire punch. Ooh, fire punch. That could be interesting. That could be. I have to keep that in mind. That will. Uh, uh, Thunder Shock, Charge, Tackle, Ground. He did not learn a lot, or she didn't learn a lot for level. Is it? Paris is a she, so I'm pretty sure. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Fuji, what about you? You probably don't have much. You, Bite, Leah, Scratch, Scary Face, Thrash, Payback. Nothing I would like. Okay, those are the only moves we have available to us through heart scale. Uh, some are interesting, some are not. I do not want to go to microwave, I want to go to Chrono so we can fly. We are going to fly to Aquatic Sea. And I, this is where I want to end off the episode real quick. Because next time on Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold, we're going to be taking on not the Kimono Girls, but the two legendary dogs that are roaming around Johto. See you guys then.